All right, cool shot. We are uh, live right now. I have no idea where we are right now, but it is wet. It is rainy, Frankie. You said, don't forget that umbrella today. I already feel that frizz factor. I sprayed my hair like wild this morning with the hairspray, and it's still all over the map. So Me good too. <laughs> you too? Yeah. Me too. Feeling it? Yeah, I wanted to show you uh, social distancing in the wild. How does it work? Well, you know, you got your bubble of turtles down there in the bottom right corner. You have your blue heron just hanging out. Look at that. There's a little bit of social distancing in terms of the, uh, the wild out there. So, uh, you know, it's always great to take in so what's happening. And these are on the shorelines of Lake Ontario. Wonderful image sent in to us as well. So we were just talking about uh, some of the weather that we've been seeing out there. Right now, those showers starting to wrap their way through. So pushing out towards the east. In behind it, though, we still have a risk of pop-up showers through the afternoon and even the risk of a thunderstorm. So keep the umbrella handy. Frizz factor... You got humidity coming through tomorrow and through the weekend. Lots of frizz factor. There's a look at this afternoon. You can see all those isolated showers. So some areas won't be getting some shower activity, but others will, and then they'll push in and out. So it's a fairly active weekend uh, that is active afternoon overall. There's a look at 9.30 as the skies start to clear the way out. And then as we work away into tomorrow, we're dry to start on Friday. There you go. Rob Hines sent me a, 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 an email asking me about his tea time for tomorrow. Rob, your tea time's around 3, so around 2 o'clock in the afternoon, over to the east of the city. That's where you'll see some showers, a couple pop-ups, short-lived, gets out of here. So don't worry, you can get your golf in. There's a look at what we have for current conditions, sitting at around 15. Daytime highs today, going to be about 22, overnight lows of 16, 27, as we look into tomorrow with another risk of seeing some pop-up thunderstorms in the afternoon. There's that heat, the humidity through the weekend, lots of sunshine. It'll be very summer-like as we are still in spring. 31 into Montreal. Uh, that is into Monday, not Montreal, Monday. Got to wake myself up there. Tuesday, what we have is uh, some evening showers, a temperature of 30. Still hot as we work our way into Wednesday and a daytime high right around 28. Here's your pollen report for this day. Low hickory, low for true grasses. High count today for pine, fir, and spruce. Add them all together and gives you a total pollen level on this day of high. Better than yesterday. Things are improving. Have a great day overall.